Hello everybody, good to see you again. And here today, I have another problem, math problem for you. We're going to try to solve for x. Alright, so, the problem is 27 to the power of 7 plus 27 to the power of 7 plus 27 to the power of 7 is equal to 3 to the x. And we want to solve for x. So we could use logarithmic functions to solve this. But we're going to try to solve it without using any calculators. All right, so no logs. So first thing, let's try, let's see if we can simplify the left side. So this 27 to the seventh is here in the expression. It's there for a total of three times. So if it shows up three times the same term, we could use multiplication. So let's just do three times 27 to the 7 all right so 3 times 27 to the 7 is equal to 3 to the power of x so that's what we have now when we calculate trying to find an exponent what we want to do is try to see if we could have the same base on both sides of the equal sign okay so here the base the base in this on the right side is 3. The base is always the part that is getting to the power of. And here we have a 3 here, but here we have a 27, all right? So let's see if we could change the 27. So 27, 27 is 3 times 9, right? And 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So, 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. And since 3 is multiplying by itself 3 times, 27 is equal to 3 to the power of 3, which we can also, whenever something is to the power of 3, we can call it cubed. So this is 3 cubed. 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So we can rewrite this as 3 times I'm going to put this in parentheses to not get our exponents mixed up. 3 cubed, or 3 to the power of 3. Uh, let me make that look better. 3 to the power of 3. To the power of 7 still. This power to 7 does not go away. It's equal to 3 to the power of x. So now this looks a lot better since we have base of 3 here, both of them. But it still looks kind of weird we have these two exponents so let's see what we can do about that so there is a rule in exponents that's when you have one power to another power so let's say a to the power of b to the power of c that is the same thing as a to the power of b times c okay does that make sense so in this scenario, our b would be 3 here. Our b would be 3. Let me get pink. Our b would be 3. And our c would be the 7. So this 3 to the power of 3 all over to the power of 7 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 times 7. And 3 times 7 is... 21. So we can rewrite this as 3 times 3 to the 21 is equal to 3 to the x. And now let's see if we can combine these terms. The 3 times 3 to the 21. Let's see if we can combine that. Alright, so the rule when combining, so th these both have a base of 3, right? And 3 by itself can also be considered 3 to the power of 1. So we have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 21 is equal to 3 to the power of x. And now, the rule, the exponential rule of when we try to multiply the same bases that have different exponents, or any exponents in general that have the same base, it will be a, a is the base to the power of b times a, notice the same base, to the power of c, so these b and c are exponents it will be a to the power of b 
plus C. Okay. So in this case, our A is 3, right? The base is always the same here, uniformly the same. The B is our 1 here. And our C is our 21 here. Alright, so basically 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 21 is equal to 3 to the power of 1 plus 21. It's the two exponents added together. And 1 plus 21 is what? That is 22. So 3 to the power of 22 is equal to 3 to the power of x. And we have the same bases both here. So whenever we have the same bases, we can just drop the bases. So that will just give us, when we drop the bases, take them away. 22 is equal, oops, 22 is equal to x. All right, so that is our final answer. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye.